good afternoon everyone uh, from iit bhubaneswar i am sitting uh, here from bhubaneswar i am talking to you uh, I, i think the kind of participants are from all of the uh, all over the india so hope uh, i'll try to connect all you all so before going to give this presentation so what i want to say is i want to talk about because the, uh, the organizer has given me a topic uh, for this uh, open uh, open access system and uh, open source uh, library system so i'll talk about uh, i mean some time for uh, open access system then i will come to this uh, okay basically uh, i don't know how many people are uh, convergent with this uh, software and technology digital library technology if it would be a offline program i could have interacted with you to know about your background and all uh, so right now it, is, it will be difficult to uh, interact uh, because the time is very short also one uh, hour and 30 minutes so i'll take some some time maybe 10 10 minutes so to discuss about the open source system so is coming okay so basically this open uh, so software is created and improved by the collective community uh, it is freely available uh, uh, adaptable transparent making it a popular choice for various application uh, basically first of all we are talking uh, how do we uh, choose this uh, uh, this open uh, source software basically this is uh, this is freely available and uh, this is uh, adaptable we can adopt any uh, any any issues and can adopt it and it is a transparent and making it is a, that's why it is uh, making a popular choice for the various application in india obviously uh, what happened no this uh, when we are going uh, talking about this uh, technology and all uh, so uh, instead of paying some amount to the some uh, private agency we have to uh, our library uh, people are very much te techno savvy nowadays so they are very uh, <coughs> convergent with the technology so uh, this is a uh, fast search for all of us to choose open source so then what is the open source uh, this is a collaborative development because you know like this uh, uh, open source software it is a collaborative effort of many people uh, sitting from different part of the world people try to collaborate they try to write some program then some program like that small 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 then it becomes a big one so as a result of this we are uh, <clears throat> we are uh, getting this many num i mean there are so many so many softwares are available uh, in different subjects take it as a library automation uh, package or a digital library software or uh, e learning package uh, uh, or erm that is electronic resource management so these are all it said collaborative uh, effort and it is a transparency the source code is open for uh, scrutiny ensuring security and the flexibility Uh, since the source code is uh, open uh, so you can uh, see that that okay how security is and uh, and it is so it's transfer uh, transparent cost effective it will eliminate uh, licensing fees and offers affordable solutions uh, like we do not have to pay much i mean we do not have to pay uh, anything if you are expert and if you are not expert then you can there are various service provider are now coming up so you have to pay some affordable price uh, flexible open source software can be customized to meet the specific need of each library because you know like uh, some of so initially when this library automation package uh, they started to automate the libraries uh, the systems are all uh, uh, it was difficult to customize the things but slowly slowly they try to customize different uh, services Uh, but which costs you a lot and it is flexible like uh, supported by community of developer which ensure that it will continue to develop and maintain 
over time like you know uh, today i'm uh, i'm going to discuss about the discuss uh, digital library software i'll show you how to install and all uh, i know it will be difficult to practice now because sitting from the computer and do but i'll uh, step by step i'll mention uh, the everything in my uh, in this pre presentation and if required i can uh, show uh, uh, this through my laptop uh, my laptop I, it is now i am running from this unix uh, linux system uh, ubuntu uh, linux system so it is a flexibility to uh, to maintain uh, so this uh, over a period of time when this this space uh, it has came so uh, since then around i think almost 20 years uh, already co completed oh, where this uh, the uh, this service is continuing so benefit this is a community support open source that is the access to diverse and uh, active community freedom to modify the software to meet specific need and security uh, challenges of using open source uh, digital library software it requires te technical expertise okay so whenever you are trying to use a open uh, source li digital library system or any uh, software or any open source software it requires a technical expertise if we are not expert in this particular area, we don't know about this technology. For example, take the example of Poha. Uh, if you don't uh, know how to use this Linux or you've been to nowadays, now we are using the Ubuntu system, then some database management system uh, like MariaDB, etc. Then uh, so there are uh, then uh, uh, Paul language because it is written in the Paul language. So so for that we need some basic technical expertise so it uh, so the, that's why it becomes the challenge for the many people to implement these uh, uh, open source uh, software in their institute uh, it may lack some features and it is uh, and here we'll get less vendor support so these are the challenges in fact why do we need a vendor support because you know like uh, uh, if we face some problem some vendor should be there to support you at the time of requirement otherwise uh, suppose today i will install your uh, software open source software in your server and tomorrow if there is any issue and then uh, you call me then i may not have time so it, it becomes a problem for you so in that case uh, some uh, these vendors are there to help them so for the open source software this is a issue but nowadays, I think people are trying to take up these issues. Small, small, I mean, some of the companies are coming up who can uh, help them, people. So these are the uh, features of the soft, uh, software. Metadata management, efficient store and retrieve descriptive data uh, for digital asset. It has search capabilities. Uh, then access control. It has a manage uh, how to access. I mean, give the access to the uh, different people. So there are case studies. Some of them Greenstone Digital Library. There are different. Uh, I, I'm talking about three software. Widely used for building, uh, building and distributing digital library collection. Uh, basically, when uh, we started uh, uh, as a student, I think around 2003 time, we started with Greenstone Digital Library Software. Uh, so uh, during that time, we used this and uh, uh, later we found that actually this, uh, for example, if you want to create a specific collection for a particular subject and you want to keep it in a, some uh, CD and also it is really helpful uh, so that you can keep in your CD. Uh, may, and that CD is searchable also. You can, if you want to search some some data, it is it becomes helpful. This space and this space is popular. Uh, it is a managing scholarly literature and institutional repository. Now this is popular among institutional uh, uh, <coughs> among the Indian institution. Uh, Fedora, uh, no, uh, it is a, another software uh, which is uh, it has a robust architecture uh, for this uh, product. And another I uh, forgot to mention that is ePrint. Is there? So these are also used for this uh, digital library software. And some uh, limitations and all complex. Uh, uh, it, it has complex in implementation. It has customization 
uh, setting up the cost, uh, configuring the software can be complex and time consuming. Customization and maintenance, continuous maintenance and customization require technical expertise, as I mentioned. Resource requirement may need considerable hardware and power, manpower resource for large scale deployment. So, for this, you need a different one. Uh, this space because it is open access and it has uh, pro <coughs> academic repositories, design managing academic uh, publications, and it has a effective manage uh, metadata management system. Uh, this is uh, because it is important because 3,000, uh, 350,000 open source projects are there in the open source projects and are actively maintained and 10 uh, million plus community contributes. So as a result, so it has a uh, digital library system can lead to a cost effective and scalable digital content management, uh, the expensive community and wealth of the resource of our employees. So next we'll talk about the... Uh, I'll close this. This slide is visible now. Display seven point six point one. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know it is very difficult after launch hour to make it a, a interesting thing, but anyway, I'll try. So uh, as I discussed about this display uh, uh, software, uh, so today we are dis uh, going to discuss on uh, the latest software. Uh, this is uh, called display seven point six point one with the Ubuntu 22.04.4 LTS. So, <clears throat> uh, this is the latest one, uh, software. Uh, so, this is the background. I don't know why this is. So, this space, uh, background is like, this space is freely available as uh, open source software. The first public version was released in 2002. Uh, so I remember when I was a student, I mean, do, I was doing a research student in uh, DRTC, ISI Bangalore. So that time we uh, started with this. Uh, uh, ARDSR has done, uh, I mean, initial initiated this project, I mean, this uh, training and all. So in 2000, uh, so in November 2002, it was announced. In 2003, there was a workshop. Uh, since then, there are uh, different. Uh, versions has coming uh, com came up so i remember the <clears throat> we started with some software uh, and all now it has uh, uh, i mean transferred in different uh, using different softwares so it is uh, uh, the research is for 20, uh, 20 plus years uh, it has already done uh, and it is the largest uh, of the open uh, digital library software and in July uh, 2007, HP and MIT, basically the developer was HP and MIT. Uh, they jointly found a foundation, DSpace Foundation, a not-for-profit, not and that provided le leadership and support. So in 2007 onward, there was a DSpace Foundation. In May 2009, so there is uh, the DSpace uh, Foundation and the Fedora Commons, they joined together and they make a uh, mission, not-for-profit, not that is uh, DuraSpace. And this space, uh, sorry, Dura space and uh, Lyra Seas merged in July 2019. Currently, the display uh, software and user community receives leadership and guidance from Lyra Seas. Okay, so you might have seen uh, if you uh, want to try this software and uh, uh, that Lyra Seas maintains this uh, display. So what, these are the prerequisites for software so we need. Uh, Java uh, JDK, that is uh, Apache Map, uh, Maven. So I'll discuss later what, uh, about these things. Apache Tomcat, Postgres SQL, that is database management system, SOLR. So I'll discuss. Uh, so these are the, some of the softwares. So uh, since 
seven there are uh, there was the uh, actually uh, after seven version seven onward so what happens there are the two or two types of uh, d space uh, uh, it has been using one is back uh, it was a ser uh, server api another one is that front end okay one is back back end and one is uh, uh, back end another one is front end okay so here for back end requirements we need this software unix or like operating system we are using uh, ubuntu and also you can install microsoft window using uh, for the d space so uh, for this back end requirement we need java uh, development kit that is jdk 11 or more so we are i am using 11 so java has uh, jdk uh, is being maintained by oracle so that one is open jdk open jdk is for the open for the linux community and oracle is for the uh, paid one that is proprietary one so configuring a, a maven uh, proxy suppose uh, Suppose if you want to use a proxy, suppose you, you are accessing your internet uh, internet through a proxy server. So in that case, you have to configure your proxy. I'll, I'll show you how to do that. Apache Maven, there are these tools are uh, there. Basically, these are all Java because you know that JDK is there. Java, Java development uh, uh, <coughs> kit is there. So there we need uh, all the related software like Maven, uh, Apache Maven. So Maven is necessary. It is a Java build tool and it is a fastest build process to assemble the installation package from your this space. Okay. So suppose what happened whenever you will install, I will show you how to do this. When you try to install a Java, uh, sorry, this space, that time uh, you have to first download that sub, uh, uh, software from the uh, this space server. Then after that, you have to run this Maven to make it a uh, Installable so that it can be installed. Okay, and next one is Apache and uh, that uh, uh, what we are uh, I am using here is 1.10.12. Uh, this is uh, or above you can use Apache and is required for the second stage of the build process. Uh, deploying installing the application uh, uh, application and the first Maven is used to con construct the installer installer. Okay. So what happened that when you run this Maven, Maven command, so it will create a installer folder. And there, after that, after that installer folder, so what you have to do, you have to run this ant, ant command so that it will install that D space to the directory. Okay. So uh, the next one is, uh, so if you have any issue, I mean, you can, uh, I mean, tell me, okay, stop me anytime. Okay. So this space uh, seven point uh, we, uh, we are using the latest one that is this space seven point six point one. Uh, it is a backend one, so it doesn't have a user in, uh, friendly interface. So relational database we are using. Uh, I mean here it is being used Postgres SQL. Before uh, seven point six uh, uh, Oracle uh, it, it it was supporting this Oracle, but now it is not supporting. So it is uh, Postgres is recommended. So this uh, for this program, uh, I mean today's program. So I have used this Postgres SQL 14.10 version. So we need the Apache uh, SOLR uh, that is 8.11.2 version. So how, what it does, it, it it does it index the uh, full text indexing and search services. Okay, like for any in information retrieval system, we need a uh, search and retrieval services in mean, search engine. So here this SOLR is used for that. Servlet uh, in Apache Tomcat, it is uh, used for the uh, uh, ser uh, server. So optional, it is IP uh, to city databases for the local base practice. So front end, uh, then front end, that is, uh, this front end is used for, for example, you want to see the website. Website means where, where you can interact with, with the uh, inter interact with the public. So whatever you put in the front end, it will be displayed. So through that, we'll go to the server. So for this, we need uh, Unix like operating system that is Microsoft or Windows. Node uh, JS, Node JS is basically it is a uh, software uh, Java uh, software uh, Java tool. Yarn, Yarn is also uh, 
basically it is a uh, product manage, uh, process manager uh, tool for this uh, this one then pm2 is also a process manager for the java and node as well and uh, finally we need this case 7.6.1 angular version so this is the this case uh, angular version one so here how to do i think today i think there was a session on koha i, I believe can somebody tell me hello nobody is responding am i audible or not hello hello Sir, yeah, yeah, okay. So today I think there was a uh, uh, session on Koha, if I am uh, correct. So there you have to use uh, Ubuntu. So here also we are taking the Ubuntu as a uh, software. Uh, I hope that you are uh, aware about how to use this Ubuntu uh, system, uh, how to uh, go about that. So uh, here you have to open the terminal uh, that is control alt t uh, then uh, go to the application uh, or go to application accessories but uh, control alt t and then uh, this uh, this window will come so there you have to first of all whenever you are doing some work you have to update the system that particular server basically that this is uh, this laptop is now my server so I have to put this sudo uh, uh, apt update uh, and so, uh, basically you have to update your system and also you have to upgrade the system with different software okay so create a database user okay so first of all my job is to create a database user so create uh, with a password so uh, that command i have given in the red whatever the red uh, uh, <clears throat> color i have given these are all command you have to put in the terminal so sudo, sudo is used for going to the uh, super user, basically super user to use uh, as a root user. So there are different kind of users, root and uh, different users. Uh, so, so you have to uh, add, uh, add a user as a D space. So then you have to put uh, this, com uh, then sudo password means uh, pass WD D space, then you have to give a password for that uh, user. Then uh, sudo uh, user md user modifier sorry user modifier uh, append uh, the group as a uh, sudo group that is d space. So what you have to do is you have to uh, add this d space to a super user group. Then you have to make a directory uh, that is uh, uh, sudo uh, for every uh, I mean uh, what you call super user uh, suppose you are not in a super user mode then you have to do as a sudo command okay sudo make mkd that is my uh, created directory to your uh, as a as a slash d space so you have to change this uh, permission because for every time you have to uh, change the ownership okay ownership means suppose uh, you have to the d space user can uh, i mean what is the owner of this uh, this d space uh, slash d space folder Then you have to open the install the open JDK. Uh, sudo after install uh, that is uh, like uh, then you have to give the uh, this command to use this uh, install the JDK command JDK uh, sorry file. So earlier I remember when we started that time what you have to do is you know like uh, for liner uh, for this this space you have to download each software from their uh, respective website. Then once you download, then you, you have to put in your uh, folder. Then uh, then after that, what you have to do, you have to tar, on tar for everything. Then you have to make it executable. So like, like that, okay. So now this uh, using this Ubuntu, it is easier. You give the command, install command, then it is going to their server and the, uh, the directly it is installing, okay. So after installing, you have to set Java home and Java OPTC path basically. Uh, if you remember, like uh, whether you are working, I think these these DOS command or, or even Windows also, there you have to give a path. So here you have to uh, create a environment variable, then you have to give the path. So what uh, you have to give it here? 
here you have to uh, there is a uh, like this java home and java part environment variable you have to give then there is a file uh, called sudo uh, that is sorry file uh, in the etc slash environment there is an environment file so here what you have to do you have to edit this okay so for edit you have to give the command g edit okay Okay, it's, it work like edit command or like your what you call notepad command in the Windows kind of thing. Okay, so there we have to uh, add these two lines. Okay, so like here it is given that these two lines to be added in that file. Then you have to save and close this. So basically the meaning is that Java underscore home equal to that uh, the file name where it has installed. Okay, then Java means it is uh, it is giving the memory basically from min minimum memory to the maximum memory size for that uh, java java virtual and uh, machine so with and this encoding is for utf8 for the like for uh, managing the various languages so run the following command to check the status of the java and hope so here you have to uh, uh, run run this command so this will show this echo uh, dollar java dot uh, underscore home then it will show you the uh, the uh, the path. Basically, it is you are giving a you are naming something which will represent the path. Similarly, equal uh, Java uh, underscore opt is that is uh, for minimum and maximum memory and uh, like UTF of it. So this is the this is all about this uh, saying the uh, giving the path for that. So after doing this uh, open JDK installing this and giving the path, you need to install Maven and the and software. So Maven is necessary, it is a fast stage, I have already discussed. So for installing this app, uh, Maven and the add software, we can give uh, sudo apt install, then together I think Maven and hyphen y. So, so that it will install, uh, install both Maven and add software. So right side I have given the sc uh, screenshot I have taken, so which I used with my laptop. Uh, you can see this, uh, this one. So as I mentioned, uh, uh, Maven is a first stage of the building process, assemble the installation package. So what it will do, it will assemble the packages and then the add will, from the package it will, uh, <coughs> it will install that, uh, uh, Maven what it will do, it will create a, a installer folder, then add will use, uh, then it will install in the disk space directory, slash directory, disk space directory. Then uh, I was mentioning about this proxy. So there is a file, uh, Called etc maven setting.xml file is there for is there there you have to uh, change or suppose if your institution has been some uh, port and uh, port number and user name password so then you have to change this okay the next uh, stop is install uh, postgres sql uh, as i was mentioning this uh, postgres sql is a uh, database management system which is used here uh, uh, so here, uh, what you have to do, you have to install this Postgres, uh, the latest version. Uh, so what uh, we did, this uh, uh, sudo apt get install my uh, Postgres SQL, then Postgres SQL client, Postgres SQL contributor, list Postgres JDBC Java. Uh, so <clears throat> so this, uh, this software you have to install and check the Postgres version number by running the Below command PSQL minus V PSQL. So then, then it will say you what the version. So here we are using uh, the version uh, Postgres 14.10 uh, software of the Postgres. And then, uh, and then what you have to do, you have to start the sudo pg uh, ctl cluster 14 main. You have to give this command. Then after that, uh, then you, you have to uh, start the, uh, you know the status of, first you have to start the service, then you have to know the status of uh, whether it is running, running or not, uh, system ctl status, then postgres sql, uh, apply the key controls to exit from the screen, and you have to exit. So I have given the step-by-step -step approach. Uh, what I'll do, I'll share this uh, PPT, uh, PPT with the organizer, and if required, I can share the uh, a word file also uh, later uh, so that it will be useful for you to create uh, step by step so here uh, 
once once you have uh, installed then uh, you have to create a password for postgres uh, postgres uh, so sudo post, uh, password postgres then for basically dj for the uh, whole postgres system uh, then <coughs> sudo password postgres and you have to give a password i have given this place password then that then you have to go to the su postgres you have to go to that particular So what I did, then I have given this SU procedure. You can see here, this Postgres has come. Earlier it was not, Vibhuti, uh, like that it was coming. So now it is coming like Postgres, at the rate, Vibhuti, then this one. Okay. So it is using the user. I mean, going to the user. Then exit from the current path. Then you have to say, uh, once you press the exit, exit option, it will coming to the basic one. I mean, the, the place where I was. Okay, so so once you have installed this, then you have to give the link. I mean reference. I mean what do you call it? Linking, linking to the your uh, uh, D space. So open the following file that is uh, you are using uh, sudo uh, g edit g edit uh, system you are using. Uh, so uh, which file that uh, that is there is a file called uh, uh, Postgre Postgres uh, Postgres SQL. That is uh, in the stated at uh, slash etc postgres sql 14 slash main uh, folder. So what you have to do is that comment out the line remove uh, has has symbol. There is you can see it. There is a listen. Uh, this one command is there. Then you have to remove this one. Okay. Listen address local host under the connection setting. This connection setting. This one is there. You have to just remove this as. Okay, this is one save and the exit uh, open the following file there is another file called as uh, pg sba which is which is located at uh, slash etc postgres so there are two files you need to change one is postgres uh, uh, sql dot conf file and another one is as uh, pg underscore sba dot conf file so one what you have to do is like uh, Uncomment that local uh, listen address from local uh, equal to local host. So another one is you have to give the uh, uh, give the different uh, like uh, socket. What do you call it? In uh, like the host that at the end of this one, then host D space D space uh, user ID D space uh, pass one uh, that is the local host uh, IP. Then the host then this one socket IP. Okay. So then after that, you have to restart the, this is the command, you have to remember this command, sudo system ctl restart postgres sql, okay. This is uh, one of the important uh, part of this uh, postgres sql, okay. Uh, for setting into uh, to the display software. So, uh, uh, so whatever we do, we, uh, the data, uh, whatever we want to keep, it is stored in the postgres. So next uh, software we have to work is that is SOLR uh, Sol uh, SOLR installation. Okay, so here you have to install the these are the steps. What you have to follow? So one is go to the opt uh, slash opt folder cd slash opt. So there uh, after going there you have to download the SOLR version latest version. Okay, so <clears throat> what you have downloaded? Or oh, downloaded eight point eleven point two version. That is W get that is that means you will get uh, this uh, file from that server and uh, change uh, once it is downloaded it is showing that it is downloaded we have given this command sudo get this one then uh, once it is saying 100 percent download then after uh, after that that is uh, the file name is uh, that dot t t t Z. Okay, this is a basically it is a zip file. Okay, change. Uh, you have to see the change the seller permission. Let's say you have to change this one. Sudo uh, ownership. That will be uh, the this one. My computer. I am the user. So this user will be the owner of this software because uh, <clears throat> it is not recommended to uh, save in the uh, uh, root. 
okay so this is the next step so what you have to do like uh, uh, here you what we are doing uh, we are putting uh, this uh, this command okay uh, slash opt slr bin slr start okay but basically this is the command to start the uh, slr server uh, so once you give this one whenever uh, once the, uh, when you reboot the system then automatically it will start instead of uh, uh, instead of it uh, start uh, by giving the command every time so it will automatically start so for that what you have to do uh, it is not recommended to run solar as, SOLR as a uh, root user so we have to deploy solr in uh, dot profile to run solar uh, come back to the home uh, folder and apply the commands so cd nano dot nano means this is it's like a gedit okay this is a G edit kind of thing. Okay. So add the below line in between uh, and uh, this one. What is that? This you must uh, 0, 0, 002 between that 0, 002 two and uh, this one. If running. Okay. So what we have done, we have just copied this one slash opt, then uh, slash slr 8.11.2 being slr dot uh, slr space start. So as a result, what happened? It will start. To start, uh, these are the commands. So suppose if you want to start this, so please remember these. This is these are the important things. So whenever the system will not work, or it will show some issues, we need to start these services. One is Tomcat, another one is uh, uh, this one. Uh, what do you call it? This uh, so SOLR. Then sometime you have to uh, that Postgres also you have to restart. So like this. So you need to remember these things. So these are the comments uh, uh, being used for uh, SLR. So browse the below URL uh, for SLR running or not. So this one, once I give this, so it is showing the SLR uh, site. That means this is working, okay. So there, I have given another uh, screenshot here. That is for uh, actually this, uh, after once you install the D space, so it will create an instance. So it will show, uh, I will show you later. Then uh, next it is Tomcat. Tomcat it is a server basically to host the your services. So these are the command. Uh, sudo app uh, install Tomcat 9y. Uh, Tomcat 9 uh, y. Uh, okay. So once you give this command, uh, I, I have given this command. It is it has installed. Where is this? Okay. Then it has installed. Once it is installed, then you have to give sudo get uh, gedit uh, this service uh, tom uh, cat nine dot service. So there add the following line under this security at the last line. Okay, read write path equal to slash d space. Here you have to give this is the file where you have to give this one slash d space, and you have then you have to save and the close the file. So what it does, it will read the once it uh, uh, once you start this one, it will read write that uh, D space uh, path. Then install uh, Tomcat two. Alter the Tomcat default configuration uh, to support searching and uh, browsing of multi uh, UTF eight. UTF eight. Please remember this is for the multi multilingual support. So here, what you have to do is like uh, open the following line file. One file is there. That is etc tomcat9 server.xml. There, what you have to do is that uh, find out the below mentioned lines. Okay, this line, connector port, uh, this one. This is, the, uh, this is there somewhere. Okay. Then you have to find this line and comment out. Comment out means you have to put this command. Okay. Then comment out. Then add following lines. These, these lines you have to add. These lines are added. Okay. This is the this we have uncommented it. Then after that we have added this these lines. And save and close this file. Please remember these things uh, so that so if you are going to try this, uh, if you are going to try uh, install this Tomcat uh, or uh, install this D space, so it will be helpful for you. Then you have to save and close the file. Then you have for the restart. Once you save it, you have to restart the system. So the system uh, CTL restarts tomcat 9 
dot services if it shows the following error if it will show some error like this the unit file source configuration file or drop in sub tomcat 9 service changed on this run uh, system ctl daemon uh, reload uh, to reload the units okay so it will reload the uh, some uh, this uh, if you find this kind of uh, unit file okay so then once you uh, do this then again you have to restart this uh, press this command okay so now it comes to database setup okay so once we have installed uh, what you installed uh, installed uh, java, java then uh, tomcat sol slr uh, then uh, one minute sorry So uh, now you have to work on this uh, database system. You have to work how to create a database for uh, the in, in, inside this Postgres SQL. Okay. So sudo su Postgres. You have to go to the uh, Postgres one. Then cd etc Postgres SQL main. You have to go there. Then there you have to create a user. Okay. What user you have to create? Create. You have to create user D space. First of all, you have to create a D space. Then you have to create DB. Then after this user, for any kind of database, first you have to create a user. Then you have to create a database. So this command is for create DB for database with Unicode support as a, uh, the, the uh, that, uh, name is the, D space is the uh, database name and the user is the D space. So, so another important factor is enabled uh, PG crypto extension. Okay, this is important one. So for this uh, recent uh, version of the display and all, this is being used. Uh, this is uh, enable this uh, <clears throat> PG uh, SQL uh, username Postgres space create extension PG crypto. Okay, so this one you have to run this command also. Like here we have this is the one PSQL username Postgres create extension PG crypto. So all this for one I have given in this one. So if you want to follow this, you can. Uh, try this so that you will able to uh, uh, install this space. So <clears throat> what I want to say is that after today's presentation, I hope you will try to install a, D a D space uh, in your uh, laptop, in your computer or in your server, wherever you want. Database uh, setup to create a new data, uh, D space configuration file. Okay. So here, uh, what you have to do is that uh, uh, okay, create a new uh, D space configuration file that is uh, under this build uh, D space uh, D space because here after actually installation or uh, downloading this software, uh, so you have to create the configuration file that is uh, uh, that is local dot cp local dot two example uh, to local.cgp cfc okay so here what happened there is a file called local.cfc.example is there under this uh, uh, class build dspace uh, dspace 7.6.1 actually so okay so dspace config then then uh, sudo okay this is this is one okay we have to go this 7.6.1 .1, then copy your cp uh, this example file to the uh, cfg then after that you have to uh, do this gedit option for this local cfg and check the important line file uh, uh, in the file and their purposes so here you have to modify something okay so what i did like you know like this is local host here it has given something local i have changed it okay so earlier it was some d space dot org kind of things so your local host I have given four on uh, like that okay four thousand then eight thousand for the server so here I have changed this place at my university it is given no? so this place at my laptop I have given so like this you can change this one and and another important thing is that uh, you have to remove this hash symbol from this SOLR uh, this one server equal to local host eight nine eight three dot SOLR okay. So once you uh, do this, 
then you have to save and close this. And uh, create a temporary folder with the uh, name build. Okay, there is the uh, one build fold. One minute. Let's see. Okay. Okay. So here you have to create a, a temporary folder uh, uh, build. Build actually should be done earlier. Anyway. Then you have to create MKD build. Then you have to CD, you have to go to that uh, build folder. Then you have to get uh, this uh, sudo wget uh, that you have to get the software. First, you have to download that from that uh, git, uh, github uh, uh, .com uh, <coughs> space, space archive. Then you have to uh, tar. Tar means that is like you are on zip. This is basically used for the unzipping option. Uh, for this, this is a zip file dot gz tar dot gz. So for unzipping, you have to uh, do this. You have option use this one tar option so that it will create a folder. So once it is done, then you have to make it uh, ch mode. That means you have to read, write, and uh, <coughs> execute. Table. That is. Uh, you know, so seven seven seven. You have to do that. So this is uh, uh, the, this one. So next it comes the installation of the uh, display backend. Package okay installation. So here you have to install. As I, as I mentioned that you have to use this some uh, software like MBN and uh, what is that Maven and the uh, and software for building this. Uh, actually once you have to install first first of all you have downloaded the software then you have unzipped this zip this is kept in a uh, folder so once it is in that folder like this field folder this space uh, 7.1 it should be it's very somewhere okay 7.1 okay so build the installation package i'll uh, that is then mbn package you have to uh, you have to uh, give this command then install this space backend so here what you have to do is that then you have to uh, then go to this once you have press this mbn after that it will create this dispatch installer then you go to this dispatch installer folder then you have to uh, run this command and press uh, underscore install so after the successful installation exit from the sudo user and apply the following command okay so it was the, where is that okay Build complete. Okay. So exit after exit from the sudo user, apply the following command, then exit. Uh, then uh, sudo then then what I have to do is that you have to copy cp uh, sudo cp means you have to copy the uh, this folder okay this space slash this space web apps where uh, this this file to the this uh, this tomcat uh, folder similarly you have to copy this uh, another folder this space slr to of opt solar uh, this uh, folder then sudo uh, then uh, ownership you have to change of this particular folder uh, SOLR <laughs> because you know that root it is it was recommended that to use or uh, run from this user your uh, user then you have to restart the solar then CD of solar uh, that is then you have to start the SOLR restart what are we we try we did that one okay so here you can see it so once uh, you run this command then there is a, one option is there here you will find okay it is showing the some uh, this is the core core selector option will be there before installing this there is no core selector option so you will uh, i mean you assume that once you have installed this and everything is go, go, uh, going fine then and it will show this core option will be there that means till day till this time the uh, it is installed uh, properly okay installation of this case uh, back uh, back end uh, number two uh, so initialize the database once you have done all these things uh, 
uh, like installed on this thing, then you, you have to uh, initialize database that because database you have to clean. Uh, you have to clean the database in the this one. Then you have to go to uh, CD uh, D space bin. Then <coughs> there you have to run one command sudo dot slash D space D space migrate. Okay. So after this, after this, uh, this process will ask questions like uh, then once you run this create administrator command, it will ask you some questions. Okay, email address you have to give. Because this 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 will be as your administrator. Once you have logged into your uh, D space system, once you have installed, it will ask you user ID and password. Then then this one will be used for the password. Okay, the your email this email ID will be used for the uh, password. I mean login to the D space system. Then first name, last name, is everything is correct? Yes. Password will uh, then it will ask you the to give the password uh, like you. Uh, you have to give some pa password here, but you have to remember this thing. Then once you did this, administrator account created, it will say account created. So then change permission of the D space to Tomcat user. Uh, then uh, what you have to do is this uh, sudo ownership Tomcat Tomcat. Uh, uh, that means this D space folder will be. Uh, slash this space folder will be uh, it is the owner is Tomcat and Tomcat for this one. Tomcat. Then sudo uh, then you have to restart the Tomcat uh, nine services. So after this, you will find you, you open this server, then you will find this uh, this windows. One is for uh, REST API interface of the uh, server. That is localhost 8080 server. Another one is uh, OAI PMS interface. There are two will come. So till that you will find, you will see that so this thing is working. Means you are uh, till now your uh, installation process is in right on right track. Okay. So next is uh, installation uh, of this space front end. So return to the home folder. Then folder you have to go. So here uh, you can see here. Then uh, to install the front uh, front required uh, to install uh, front end. Okay, so it is now whatever till now we have done it is uh, the back end. Okay, so now it will be uh, for the uh, front end. So for this front end, we have to install Node Node JS. It is a OS cross platform runtime environment for executing JavaScript codes. Okay, so once you uh, run this one. So whatever uh, there are some JavaScript code are there, so it will uh, it will run. Okay, execute it will run, it will execute this one. And similarly, yarn is there and DSpace Angular package is also there. So basically, DSpace Angular is for the front end. So for that, what you have to do is install Node uh, JS. Uh, for that, you have to uh, run this command. Install uh, uh, sudo apt install Node JS npm y so we are doing uh, two things okay this npm is zero <clears throat> so product manager this is basically this is a product manager uh, npm is node node package manager and npm is in a node version manager okay so this uh, this is required for the uh, running this uh, uh, this front front ends okay so first you install this then install nvm that is uh, as, as i said that node uh, version manager then sudo su then then after that you have to run this command this command for o http up to this this one where is that Somewhere here. Okay. So then next is uh, the next part uh, the NBM and this uh, this is the command you have to give. Okay. We'll close. 
close the current terminal and open a new one and apply the following commands sudo su nbn list remote nbm install tool uh, then we have to uh, the latest one you have to install i have installed nbm uh, 16.10.2 so there uh, uh, you have to uh, give nbm install 16.10.20.2 uh, then then next you have to install npm uh, install global yarn and then this command you have to give so that it will create the uh, uh, it will run this uh, uh, what do you call it java uh, environments so installation of uh, different front end tool uh, this is uh, then cd or uh, home d space you have to go then there uh, you have to download an angular uh, d space package this is another one d space d space angular angular then 7.6.1 it could be okay it will be one point you can see this one 7.6.1 then uh, tar uh, 7.6.1 then you have to remove this one immediately because tar means it, it will create a folder after that this this file is not required so you remove this one okay and that is zip file enter into the disk space angular folder then then you have to go to this angular folder 761 then then you have to uh, run this command and install all this somewhere it is there okay here if you see this and install and install okay so to, to run the user interface so once it is over so there are uh, to run the user interface you can use two ways okay one is production mode another one is developer mode the production mode we cannot uh, customize the user interface but in developer mode it is possible follow the below step to run the ui okay so there are uh, two modes are there production modes it will create uh, produce uh, it will uh, uh, you cannot uh, change this customize but uh, uh, still there are two ways one is uh, customize means every time you customize you have to run or separate uh, uh, all other services however this developer mode or these things are not required so for this what you have to do is uh, cd home d space uh, angular d space 7.6.1 and you have to go to cd config uh, then copy and rename the following uh, file okay there are two files uh, <clears throat> cp config example.yml to config config.db.yml and another one is uh, config uh, that is uh, that, that example that uh, cp config.example.yml to config.prod.yml okay here like what the way we have given config dev.yml config prod.yml this one you have to give I mean, you have to copy. So once you have copied, so here you have to change something. So open the, open the config uh, that uh, config file, uh, the the gedit that config deep file or uh, this to both file. Then you have to change this one. Okay, change to this thing. You have to do this rest SSL false local. The earlier it was true. This is the uh, this is the earlier version and this is the latest version. Okay, so that earlier version is given like uh, uh, SOLR true, so it is false. So like this, you have to edit, you have to do some editing, then you have to run. Save and close the file, run the command. Uh, developer mode, uh, the same, for developer mode, you have to go the Angular display source file, then there you have to run the yarn, run start dot, start column db. So if you face error, then run the command and try again, like start again and export node option, max old space size 8129, then run start under column DUD. So after this one, compile, then it will successfully, you can see the, the interface. So for production mode, you have to go to this uh, CD, uh, D space, then uh, 7.6.1 config, then you have to run this command yarn run uh, build colon prod prod then after that you have to exit so for this uh, 
production mode you have to do another another one uh, what you have to do is so there you have to create a pm to json configuration file so what is that so sudo get get gedit uh, that file uh, we have to go to this home this space this space angular then this space you have to create this file just this space ui dot json file okay so there you have to type this one copy the following content into your uh, file like ssl uh, rest ssl false localhost 8080 new space like this you have to give this so once you give this then you have to start the application start the application using pm2 uh, for applying following command you have to uh, for this pm2 you have to do this job sudo su pm2 start this this is the command okay start uh, pm2 start uh, that folder name that file name also folder means there is a file name with uh, which is in this folder that is this space hyphen ui dot json so this is for uh, to start and for stop is this command pm2 Similar like pm2 stop then the file name enter the below url and you have to give this url so here what you have to uh, uh, i have given this you have given this command pm2 start uh, then file name file name is in that folder home this space this space angular this space 7.6.1 this space ui dot json once you in, you give this command what it comes then it will come like this CPU okay, it is online. Okay, status is online. That means everything is working fine. Okay, this is the same thing. Uh, start once you do this, then then what happens? Then it, it uh, there are different options. It will come. You want to see the whether this space is working or not. So if this kind of uh, uh, a screen will come like 500 service unavailable <coughs> you have to restart the tomcat for the tomcat uh, server you have to like sudo you have to give this command next is this is another one and then this option will come because it will not show anything okay database uh, full create and all will not show okay so then in that case you have to restart those SOLR one. So this is the one CD OPT bin. Then you have to this command restart. You have to give. So this is the uh, this is the final one. So if everything goes fine, so you will find this this window. It, it will find this window. Enter this uh, like localhost column 4000, that is 4000. You will find this one. So, this is, I think, all. I think, all, uh, I mean, then uh, once you find this one, so you have to log in. Okay, first, then you there is a login option will be there here. Okay, login option. So, there, what you have to do is you have to log in whatever uh, create administrator we have given. You have to log in uh, that user ID, that email ID, and the password. Then login. Then once you log in, it will ask you the uh, agreement, license agreement. Okay. This is the license agreement. So then uh, the license agreement you accept. Uh, then your uh, installation is complete. Uh, so with this, I think uh, this is all about the installation process. Uh, I hope uh, that uh, the whatever I presented, it will helpful. And, and next class, I will uh, talk about the creation of the collection, then uh, user, then um, customization. So in next class, I think it is on 23rd, uh, 23rd. So with this, I think I, I thank you all. And I will uh, share this PPT. And also I will share the one award file so that it will be helpful for you to try at your laptop. Uh, with this, I think I uh, thank you all. Uh, so I can show uh, whatever I mean this one. So this is I have done. Uh, this is my local host. You can see this. This is local host. Is it okay? Thank you, sir. Uh -huh.
thank you very much for accepting our invitation for this uh, important lecture on this uh, on the digital library software so uh, the first part of this lecture has been delivered today and the, uh, the second part will be delivered on 23rd 23rd yeah <clears throat> 23rd <clears throat> so uh, now participants are requested to please raise your query if you have any or you may uh, put your question in chat box I will say yes, no question. Uh, question me. So okay, I think. Share, uh, uh, sir, actually, what I'll do, I'll share this uh, PPT as well okay, as my uh, Word file that, that is tutorial. Uh, I have made it so that it will be okay. helpful for uh, the people who are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You please send that uh, PPT and uh, the tutorial to us, sir. We will yeah, send to the participants. And hope that by 23rd, some people might have tried it and uh, uh, could able to. Uh, install this space so that I I feel that uh, this particular uh, uh, workshop will be helpful. Yeah, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. So I think there is no question from the participant side. Okay. So yeah, should I close? Uh, yeah. Have... One question. One question has received, sir. What are the hardware requirement to install the D space? Hardware, you see, I mean, you can. Uh, you know, I, I have installed this laptop. <coughs> I have tried with this laptop. So, uh, hardware, nowadays, actually, you have to take any of the modern, uh, I mean, hardware with uh, sufficient memory and the uh, one, so that it will uh, run your system. Any more question? Now, a raise hand raise for the bar. I think so. So, I think, sir, there is no question from the participant side, sir. Okay, maybe sir. on the second session, may maybe there may be question no. when they will I see the hand. Question, uh, 23rd, they can ask me, okay? <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Okay, sir. Thank you thank very you, much sir. for giving me this yeah. opportunity. Thank you very much, also, it's sir. It's not an opportunity. This is actually very. And it's your kindness to encourage our new generation of library science and library science scholars and also, sir. So you are so yeah. kind, and uh, we are very grateful before you for voluntarily accepting our invitation and always with us. And you are always with us, not only for these technical reasons, but also for some kind of technical and human relations. So okay. so much. Uh, we are grateful, and we will again meet you virtually on 23rd for another session. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, sir. Sir, one more question and come, sir. What is the meaning of Angular in DSpace? Angular, basically, it is a uh, uh, it is name of that particular front, front uh, what do you call front end uh, one software, okay? Okay, okay, okay. Front end. No, front uh, front you know, like, earlier it was you were using XML UI, then JSP UI like uh, kind of thing, but now it has uh, changed actually. This Angular is really Angular. Uh, this uh, latest versions are being uh, experimented and used. Okay. Oh, because okay. this space we have seen since uh, I mean past edition, so it has uh, gone through several I mean round of uh, changes. Okay, six things. Okay. Oh. So I mean. Thank you, your library. I have visited your library, Sasa. I mean, really, I remember your hospitality. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And have to meet you in, uh, you know, at Oh, yeah, yeah, we met there. Yeah, yeah. But remember, we met there. And most likely next week, I will be there in Odisha. Oh, Odisha. Okay. You let me know. I'll, I'll meet you. Okay, so let's let's uh, first reach then I shall I will call you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. I think I have okay. I have completed before time. Okay, but no, uh, you know, like this this space. Comp uh, uh, if you were, would have done offline, no, uh, I think by uh, it would have taken one day. Okay, to install. Right. Yes. Right. That's true. Okay. Because uh, virtual mode workshop is not possible in actual sense. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why I have given step by step, so hopefully it will be helpful.
Those yeah. you want to learn. Right. And this is the latest version. Yeah, our our perception is something is better than nothing. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nice, nice. I'm leaving now. Yes, sir. Thank you.